Hi, my name is Sean Chen, and I'll be teaching you about Miri. Welcome to NR Computer Learning Center. We are in cooperation with 2self.org or Skills Enrichment Learning Foundation. They are a nonprofit organization, and their motto is to move needy to needed and turn learners to leaders. I am an MCP, a Microsoft Certified Professional. I am also an MCTS, Microsoft. Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist. I'm also the co-founder to 2 Okay, here's my contact information. If you want to email me, please email me at sean at 2 If you want to contact me by phone, please call me with this number. Okay, now give me your name. Now I told you a little bit about myself. Please tell me about you. Please tell me your name, your work, and what you want to learn today. My name is Valerie and I work at a dental office. I want to learn more about the software so I can better use it. Okay, thank you, Valerie. My name is Eric. I'm a student. I want to learn about some basic stuff for my school. Okay, thank you, Eric. My name is Bettina. I'm a student. And I want to learn about some, some other thing for my school. Okay, thank you, Bettina. My name is James Chen. I'm traveling locally. I want to learn more uh, office. Okay, thank you, Jane. Hi, uh, my name is Sherry. I am an accountant. I use uh, window office a lot for over 10 years, but I never know how to use them properly. Uh, I think if I learn more, I can probably be more organized and probably be more efficient. So I really want to learn, but I'm, I don't want to be an expert, but I just want to do it right. Okay, thank you, Sherry. We'll cover that in the course. Thank you. Okay, housekeeping. Our class meets for five Saturdays at 9.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Bathrooms are down the hall on either side. Vending machines are in the lunchroom, and fire exits are at the end of the hall. And please, if your cell phones are on right now, turn them off. Okay. Are your chairs comfortable? Yeah. Yes. Is the temperature okay? Yeah. yeah. Are there any chipping hazards? Please look around you. How do you adjust the chair? Uh, well, there's a lever at the side of the chair, so, you know, pull on it and... <laughs> okay. Thank yeah. you. Just there. Okay, does everybody have a handout? No. Mm -hmm. And remember to take notes. Does everybody have a pen and a paper? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, for the class. I want to tell you that you want to set your goal, you want to find a way to achieve that goal, believe in yourself, and take action. Okay, course prerequisites. We're not asking you whether or not you have a software or a computer. The most important thing we want you to have is to be motivated, energetic, responsible, inquisitive, and target. For all these, motivated means you want to be somebody. For energetic, you love to learn. For responsible, you have no excuses. Don't use excuses. For example, you know, if your computer breaks down or your internet crashes, and you go to school or anything the next day, and you say, oh, I couldn't print or go on this website because my internet computer broke. So she'll tell you, or he'll tell you, that you should have taken more responsibility, printed it earlier, or typed it earlier, and planned ahead. Inquisitive, you're always on a quest for answers. It's better to find the answers on yourself instead of hook off someone else. You won't gain anything by looking off someone else. You'll gain more by doing it yourself. 
and target know what you want. Okay, the objectives. By the end of this course, we would want you to be a multitasking, experienced, resourceful, innovative team player. Okay, now we're going to go a little more in depth with the objectives. So we'll start off with multitasking. Can you try to do all of these at the same time? Video conference, checking your bank balance, viewing the current stock market, chat online, update Excel, change your contact information, and set reminders for your follow up call, and do laundry, watch TV, and take calls. Okay, here is what it would look like if you were doing all of these a video conference with your stockbroker, checking your bank balance to see how much money you would have on that stock call, checking that stock market at the same time to see what if your stockbroker said was true, chatting online with your girlfriend, updating sell, like your bank balance goes down, your asset bills go down, but your blood pressure goes up. <laughs> and remember, you want to mark, do not call next to your girlfriend, because she could be very upset that you use all that money. And remember, make sure you make a follow-up call for your girlfriend for next week in case she's not as angry anymore. Okay, experience. Here's a common myth. I can't start getting, I can't get any experience without a job. Well, that is true, but if, like, you don't have any IT experience, you can start with Windows. Why would you waste time on technology that would be outdated soon? If you could learn one, you can learn others. For example, you could learn Word, and that could help you relate to PowerPoint, and then maybe Outlook, or other applications. And I can't get into the IT field without a college degree or years of experience. Well, Microsoft certification costs about $100, and certification equals recognition. Okay, be resourceful. That's okay to say, I don't know. I say that all the time. If you, if you have an answer to every question, you should, better, you should find a better job. It's more important knowing where to find the answers. You can search the web, network you, and ask a question. If you are resourceful and responsive, you will have recognition and respect. Okay. Be innovative. If you perform 100% of your job requirements, you're only as good as what's expected. Here are some examples of ideas that were at the start, but now are billion dollar companies. The PC, web, email, internet, eBay, Yahoo, YouTube, and network. You can make a difference too. Okay. Be a team player. No matter how good you are, you are only one person. And multiply your power and effect by being a team.